What's going on guys? Ryan Knows Tech here with techinform.us. Happy Thursday, September 1st. Welcome to the video. Uh, we're going to take a look at a common question that I've gotten uh, quite a bit. I've told most people to do it via YouTube comments and replies and stuff, but I thought I'd make a video uh, from maybe for somebody else looking for how to do this. And that would be putting hard drives here on your desktop in OS X. It's not a hard thing to do at all, but new Mac switchers haven't been able to figure out how to do it as uh, it's can't do it from there. You cannot do it from how you'd expect to do it in Windows. You'd go properties or personalize and then it's in your settings. Here we need to go to Finder Preferences, which is going to be Command Comma on your keyboard. It's under General, real easy. Just check the hard disk box and there they are back. External disks, connected servers, iPods, stuff like that. And while you've got this open, you might as well go through here. You can change these labels here. For example, if I wanted to uh, label this folder red and then I could say red would be Ferrari Red, there we go, we could do that. And this is just uh, some nice organization. And then on our sidebar here, if we open up a finder window, this stuff becomes relevant. Uh, we could get rid of music and pictures, for say, or get rid of the desktop if we didn't want that. Fortunately, we can't move them around like this from there, but we obviously can from Finder. Uh, we can also adjust hard disks, hard drives here. Um, really easy thing to do. And then under advanced, we can empty the trash securely every time we do that. Show a warning. Maybe you want to get rid of that a warning of that warning. And then we can put extensions after everything. If you're a hardcore Windows user and you want to see that that's an RTF file, a rich text file, you can have it do that for you. Um, just a real quick video. I wanted to show you how to do that. Um, again, that's from any Finder window. You do need to make sure that Finder is up front. So just click on your desktop, command, comma, and then all your settings are, are there in Finder. Um, another question I had, uh, people wanted to make these icons bigger. That's actually right click on right click on the desktop, show view options, and then drag this up. I believe the default is 76 square, but if you can make it any size you want. Um, bigger, or smaller, whatever you want to do. And then I always do snap to grid. It just makes sense. You should have this have these icons snap to a grid like they did in Windows. For some reason in Leopard and Snow Leopard that wasn't set as default. I think it is now in Lion. We can also show item info. I've got 499 gigs there and 119 there. Uh, not something that I need to see all the time, um, but maybe uh, you'd like to see that. And then change your font size too. Uh, the trick to make your screen look higher, resol look higher resolution than it actually is, make that real small. Uh, default would be 12, but uh, you can make it bigger if you need to read it, as well as your grid spacing too, how far those are apart. Just thought I'd make that video. Hope I helped some of you guys. Have an awesome weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. Um, I will not be back on Monday. So I'll talk to you guys next Tuesday. Subscribe if you like this stuff. Be sure to check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash jamesrschultz, and our site at techinform.us. Thanks again. Talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.